Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a hologram projector for your cell phone using a mirror, a piece of glass, some cardboard, and some duct tape. So let's get to it. Okay, for this project, you're going to need some cardboard, a piece of glass, a mirror about the same size as your piece of glass, your cell phone, a ruler, some duct tape, a razor knife, and a pen. So, let's get started. First thing we want to do is take the mirror out of this plastic housing. It should snap right apart. Alright, get that apart and stick it out of the way. Save the back though because it's got magnets on it, you can use for something else later on. Alright, so, now we're going to take a piece of cardboard and just cut for just a little bit wider than a piece of glass. And we're going to use our ruler. We're going to try and center this piece of glass first. We measure the piece of glass, and it is five inches high. And the total length of our piece of cardboard here is twelve inches right there. Another six, so we got eighteen inches. So if we take 5 away from 18, we got 13, half of 13 is 6.5, so measure around 6.5 inches from the top. Draw a line straight across, and we're going to measure five and a half inches up from the bottom. Now, a piece of glass perfectly centered right there. So next, Draw an outline of the piece of glass. Move the piece of glass out of the way. Now let's take the phone that you're going to be using and roughly kind of center it. Mark where your sides are. So, the glass it doesn't need to be any wider than that. And if you want to use it for different sized phones, you can always make the hole a little better and it'll accommodate bigger phones. Now, I want the image stretched out so a little less margin on the top and bottom of the glass. Now, cut out the hole for our glass. Now next, 
me to bend these two edges and use a piece of wood plain on here. Take put line right on the edge of a countertop or table. Lay a piece of wood and we put both just behind the line and evenly press it down. And back up. Now it bends in both directions. Try not to do what I just did. Put that piece there. Do the same thing for the other side. Use a speed square to make sure we get 25 degree angle out of it. Now, here's our ruler. Measure how high that is to the top of that. Looks like we got about four and one eight inches. So four and one eight inches. So now we're gonna take another piece of our cardboard here. And we're gonna cut us a couple of four and one eighth wide strips or high strips. So make them about that wide. Send me some duct tape. should hold it under pretty secure. Go ahead and put a couple more thin strips at the top and the bottom to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and the 
take our two side pieces. I'm not going to get those right, but we're going to take put a tape, tape on one end of each one of these pieces. Just like that. And just like that. I forgot one step here. And if you get this down to a 45, come on, that's axis sticking out, huh? Again, kind of center it over this piece here, and just kind of trace the outline of the bone. And I'm going to make some marks just outside the edges of my screen. one of those pieces. Now, take your mirror, upside down, so far with a piece of tape. Pull it back on itself. Put it right in the middle. Mount right as centered as you can get it on this piece here. And we're going to clean all this stuff off before we put it together. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the ass to clean it off once this thing's all put together. This way, bring this up, where they go touch, bring the tape over. Same thing 
on this side. And check it. This should be just about 45 grain ago. Yeah, perfect there. Perfect there. So this is what you end up with. So I'll just give you a good look. like yeah my my YouTube now you have to go to YouTube on your phone and you're gonna search for hollow ram ready video. 